And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Starlit Stompy. Going with a new deck here. Um, I'm still kind of looking for some more homes for Starlit Seer. I just I like this card quite a bit. And um, you know, now it's got the buff, it's a three mana two three, definitely makes it better. So kind of looking for some more homes for it. So we're gonna try it with Noxus here. Pairing it with both Braum and Draven for our champions. Um, making Braum larger with Starlet Seer is, is good for obvious reasons. But then also Draven and uh, just kind of like all this Noxus stuff. Also, like, so Noxus gives us a good amount of spells to work with. Like, we need the spells with Starlet Seer. So, you know, we have our spells, you know, um, in here. We're 40% spells, 60% uh, units. Um, but then also the other thing you want with Starlet Seer, so you, you need to be able to cast spells, but then you also want the plus one, plus ones to matter. So we want to be a pretty aggressive deck for those plus one, plus ones to matter. And that's what this deck can do. Um, we have Cato the Arm also in here that can give a support ally plus three, plus zero and overwhelm. So that if, if we do make a really large creature with Starlet Seer, we can give it plus three, plus zero and overwhelm with Cato. But then Cato can also just pump up Braum and uh, you know have Braum kill more things like with the uh, uh, with the challenger, so that could be pretty sweet. And then you know we got stuff like Averroes and Hearthguard, and like Babbling Beard can go grab Hearthguard or or Cato and, and Omen Hawks. So we have other ways to pump up our creatures. So I have one Trifarian Assessor just kind of in here that could draw some cards for us. Um, you know I don't know how well this deck will do, but it, it'll be fun to it'll be fun to play. So hey Yardy. So let's let's give it a try. Starlet Stompy. Always looking for more ways to play Starlet Seer. If you're if you're watching this on YouTube, you, if you're playing a, a sweet Starlet Seer deck, feel free to post the code down in the comments. We'll get rid of the transfusions and keep Brom Take Heart. Our 40% spell deck is 5 out of 6 spells so far. Yeah, Braum with, with Draven's Axe. Yep. So I think I just Culling Strike right now. No? Alright, we'll just take the 3 since they're only attacking for 3. If they were playing, you know, if they played like a Boom Crew rookie. We would have culling striked. We don't really need to now. Now we can just have Braum and take heart. Have this combo get Braum up and going. Oh, they could Mystic Shot right now. I was thinking that. I was thinking that we'd you know be able to survive. You know, like they they weren't gonna have five damage worth of stuff like I take heart with the two, but they could just do direct damage right now, and then I'd have to like use my elixirs of irons and wouldn't be able to take heart. Oh well, I guess that's just how it is. Could have done the safer play would have been to challenge the Teemo. Don't think that's a great play on our opponent's side, though, killing Teemo. Alright, well, our Elixir of Iron killed Teemo and a Transfusion. Got to trade both of those. Oh, no! That was close. What does the crowd say when he says what time it's it? Oh, my, my camera's lagging. Y'all gotta let me know if my camera's lagging. I can reset it. There we go. That should be better. Kato time. I thought it was 8 o'clock. I 
I guess it's Kato time. Transfusion. Obviously different ways we could do this. We could use the Elixir of Iron also. But I feel like if I use Elixir of Iron, they could still probably kill Braum and this is just the safer thing. Braum with that Overwhelm still gets the three points of damage in. Very nice. Kato the Arm plus Braum. Pretty cool combo. I'm liking it. Oh, I don't know why I'm not blocking with Braum. I definitely should. Go straight to attacks. Oh, oh, we could play an Avaros and Hearth card first. I mean, I guess technically Cat of the Arm attacks for eight, where Hearth card only attacks for five. But I also like getting the Hearth card in play and pumping these up. Um, you know, we still have some other three mana cards that we can play. Making it really hard to kill this cat of the arm. All right. Uh, I need to. Want to answer a YouTube comment? Pretty confident we have this game. Okay, that could that could do something. That could do something. No, bad Boom Crew Rookie. Bad. Don't attack. No triggers. I want to be... I have a very, very high life total. Thank you. Sure. I'll draw three. Starlet Seer! Let's go! Three, four Starlet Seer seems awesome. Um. Nah. <laughs> gotta wait till. Gotta play Starlet Seer first before we start playing spells. I'm gonna get rid of the oh oh no oh I did that wrong oh 
Well, wasting this might. What am I doing? I could I could have just definitely had lethal by just miting this cat of the arm. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, check back in. I definitely just mited the the cat and had easy lethal. It's all right. We'll be fine. still be fine. <laughs> Some hard VM. Yeah, my bad. I'd like for them to attack with Jinx. Thank you. We can uh, take heart, the Caddo. Alright, I played that last turn super, super loose, but um, this game is already over. It's all good. Going through the motions now. <laughs> Two mana, six five, ever resin sentry. All right, and just making this thing an eight power overwhelm, like that's just, you know, they're at four. They can't stay alive. All right. Starlet Stompy looked good that first game. Looking good, looking good. There you go, back under the 2000s. I don't think my opponent played that one super well, though. All right, here's a, a much bigger challenge. Uh, Karina control, this person's, we've already lost this person like one, at least once, maybe twice today. This is more of a challenge. Let's get rid of Might and what do we think of Cato? Get rid of Cato. Yeah. All right. Cato's back. Get him, Hawk. This is the tough call, Sentry or Starlet Seer. Nothing escapes my I'll go Sentry, so because I don't know, Starlet, like if I play Starlet Seer, I feel like they would kill the Star, my Starlet Seer. Oh no! No! Starless here does seem pretty sweet with spinning axes, though, right? Like, that's more spells you can play really, really cheaply to trigger Starless here. Could be a good, could it be a good combo?
only had one more mana. Could have Elixir of Iron protected that Cato. That would have been nice. I feel like they're trying to set up Ruination next turn. Oh, that's true. Yeah, the Elixir Vine wouldn't have, wouldn't have saved Cato. That's that's a good call. I don't. That's true. Yeah, like they're just setting up Ruination. Get any value out of the Starlet Seers. Maybe I should have spinning axe the unblockable one. Or the unblocked one. Yeah, it doesn't look so great right now. Probably should have just spinning axe the one that was unblocked. Yeah, because I, I would have, yeah, I would have buffed the next card plus two, plus two if I would have just used one, you know, used a, a spinning axe, discard another spinning axe, and dealt one damage to them. Probably should have done that. We haven't even drawn that next card. Though we haven't even drawn it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, I'm just... Uh, it's kind of dead. I guess I should just play these spinning. I gotta play these spinning axes. So I'm at ten cards. But yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously just dead. Card doesn't really matter. It just doesn't matter what I do. That was really unfortunate. We had nothing. Whirling Death looked awful. Yeah, I mean, we, we had nothing to do. Just literally had nothing to do. Ten cards, nothing to do. Wish we had I wish one of those was a deny to counter that ruination. Yeah, even if I would have used those spinning axes, we never even drew another unit. All right, Battle of the Birds.
tortures. Nothing to do this next turn. I really want something to do. I don't want to just take next turn off. Cool. Something to do. So I blocked looking for another card to draw on him. I'm glad I did. I'm glad we have the Brahmin play. Why are they pumping the this? To do four damage to Braum? I guess if they have Radiant Strike. Yeah, they still have a mana, so they could have Radiant Strike. Alright, they figured it out. Eventually. All right, we got our buff Stompy deck out here. So then passing, that probably means they have Repost. But I guess there's not really, there's not really anything for me to do about Repost. You know, it could just be Prismatic Barrier. Yeah, it's Repost. That's okay. That's a lot worse. I mean, we did trade three for two, I guess. Traded a, a Brahm and a Cato. Our strength is yours. Feel the sizzle. What? There you go. In the name of our land. Struggling with our warships over there. Okay. Tank heart. See what they do. We may attack, we may not attack. Just gonna kind of play it by ear. Two, two, tough. So they block with the two, two, tough. I take hard. Is that worth it? Probably not. For 
justice for Demacia. Today we fight as one. Congratulations, you played yourself. Talking to me. And I'm really struggling against these Demacia decks recently, aren't I? I was thinking this would be a good trade. And that I would, you know, I would take this. You know, just killing killing Garen is so important. <clears throat> but then I guess I didn't I didn't consider that I'm at six life. Decks are still tearing me up today. Yeah, I remember la remember last game when we had all those whirling deaths that did nothing. This this matchup would have been perfect for those whirling deaths, like how they were just dead cards in my hand the entire last game. This game, <clears throat> the whole time whirling death would have been good, but. Just playing units and not really having removal against Challenger is kind of impossible. And that's what that's what we did there. I think the the biggest mis the biggest mistake I've made last game. I think I, I regret mulliganing the elixir of irons because then you know we just had a hand of nothing but units and we didn't really have any any tricks or anything. One six brom. Just a little brum. A little bit bigger. A little pump. Brum got his morning workout in today. I don't like this Fiora. I don't like that Fiora one bit. Ugh, I don't like that Fiora one bit. Poor Starlet's here. Sierra doesn't die. That's good news.
Starless Seer still alive. I think it's Kato Clock. Not Kato Time. I think maybe that's it. What time is it? Kato Clock. Maybe. I'm not sure. I will trade Kato for Garen. They want to make that trade. All right, Kato Brom combo. Okay, it is Kato Clock. Okay, yeah. So double take heart. Gonna be a lot of trample damage. With this thing getting overwhelmed. Oh, judgment would be really bad. They're not acting like they have judgment, <clears throat> but that would be really bad. been acting like they have many tricks. Okay. That is acceptable. We need a bigger Braum. That Braum got the plus three, plus three. No, don't you hate when your when your champion that turns into a spell is like the thing that gets the all the pluses? Ah, oh, it's too bad. So level up Braum. Braum's at 9 out of 10. But it levels up the Garen. Attack, 
Attack, attack, attack, attack. Seven Eleven. Braum is open all day. We got the Seven Eleven Braum. No judgment, please. No judgment, please. Your action, all right. That was a great game. We got to we got to level up Rom. We got to get our get our revenge on Demacia. After the previous game, having um, Omenhawk get a one six Brom right away was pretty clutch. That was pretty clutch. Yeah, yeah, definitely have tried Brom and Vladimir. I, I don't really feel like the Braum Vladimir decks are that great though, but maybe the thing to do with those decks is to not not play all the Crimson cards and you know go maybe you know like play like Cato the Arm and Bjerg and, and stuff like that and not not worry about um, like maybe that's the secret is is not actually worrying about um, not not doing the Crimson stuff. I felt like the Crimson stuff's kind of weak. You're a little late, Omenhawk. But then if you're not doing Crimson stuff, that makes Vladimir worse. I don't know. Boo. Yay. Oh, up there in the mountains. I think the most likely outcome is they mystic shot this thing, but even if they play Chump Womp, all right, they just get some blockers there. I say, even if they play Chump Wump, don't really mind it too much. We have Culling Strikes in here, right? Yeah, there's three. There's three Culling Strikes in here. Just have not really been seeing that card. Kind of need Culling Strike against Heimerdinger. No smoke, I'm not. I'm playing uh, this new game, Legends of Runeterra, instead. Going to be fully released next week out on mobile. So I think... Kato is the play because Kato lets me play Braum next turn and have Braum challenge Heimerdinger, and then and then even if they bounce the Braum at that at that point, we would have a Whirling Death to try to kill the Heimerdinger. Still, just don't ugh, don't bounce it now. Yeah, it is super awesome to be able to have it on mobile. Uh, 
They did really good with that Will of Ionia bouncing right then before I got to attack with the Caddo. That was smart. Instead of letting me attack and then bouncing Braum. Um... I mean, we wouldn't level up. I mean, I guess we could level up Draven by striking with two total spinning axe. Discard some of this other stuff. Yeah, I understand, Floppy. You're going to win this game because Heimerdinger is broken. Congratulations. is a little weaker than these other champions. It's a little weaker. Yeah, yep, you'll have the stream stream open, playing it on your phone. Yeah, it's gonna be sweet. It's only eight more days. 30th should be um, up on mobile. So a week from tomorrow. Okay, so they still have five mana. Let's see. We're gonna be doing that. Plan's not good against Will of Ionia, but it is good against. You know, it still works against another Get Excited. Oh, come on. They still get the three one. They still get. The get excited like didn't even get cast. Uh, I don't know, so we're just dead to all these elusives. All right, Heimerdinger is a little bit better than Braum. Not gonna lie, Heimerdinger is a little better than Braum. GG's. Um, yeah, so this deck isn't isn't anything special, um, but you know, it was it was, uh, well, was kind of fun to play. Didn't have the best record with Braum decks today. There's 
too many Will of Ionias running around, too many culling strikes. And got that the previous video, we got culling striked a bunch. Brahm's tough. Brahm's a tough one to make work. Um, I think maybe instead of, you know, like, I wonder how Starlet Seer just fits in the the kind of normal Frostbite midrange. There already is a lot of good two mana cards here Icefield Drummer, Legion, or Icefield Archer, Legion Drummer, Trifarian Glory Seeker. I wonder how Starlet Seer would fit in this kind of deck. May not have room for it, that's kind of the problem. Um. But anyway, yep, there we go. So that's Starlet, Stompy. Um, still still kind of, you know, still testing stuff out. Still testing different Starlet Seer decks out. But those of y'all watching on YouTube, please hit that like button over there. And if you got a Starlet Seer deck that you've been really enjoying, again, put it in the, put it in the comments there. I'd love to take a look at it. Uh, you know, feel free to um, put like the deck code in there. But that's it here for Starlet Stompy. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.